Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and in this three-part video, I'm going to show you guys how to program drums in FL Studio 10. There are several ways to do this, but I'm going to show you in three ways. So I'm going to make this video a little more interesting. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I have so far. Just a bass line and some chords. It's actually an organ under uh, a guitar rig, so that's why it sounds a little distorted and whatnot. Just using harmless and using the three times oscillator. So the best way and the easiest way to do this, to program drums in FL Studio, is to look in your browser and just throw it into the step sequencer, which we have on right now. So I'm gonna look for some drums here. Uh, let's start off with a kick. Okay, now that you found your kick, you're just going to place in your steps. It's easier if you play the music at the same time. And to make it a little more easier, I'm going to find a snare and throw that in as well. Alright, now that you've found that snare, you can go ahead and make that rhythm that you envisioned. Again, play the music so you can hear you know, what you like. I'm just placing the snares on the twos and fours and then now I can add my kicks okay so now that I finished my rhythm I have already placed um, some effects for my kick as you can see just making it sound a little more dirty and as well as my snare, I have stuff uh, happening here. Um, just a compressor, a little bit of parallel compression on the kicks. So now I'm just routing my snare to channel number three. And you can see it just sounds a lot more better. You don't have to do this, but um, you know if you know some engineering techniques, you may apply them as well, just to give that little icing on the cake. All right, so now I'm looking for a hi hat to add some groove and some feel, a little bit of feel to my drums. And I just did a right click and insert fills. And I'm going to shift everything to the right, make it go on the and count. And 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 and. All right, now let's look for another hi hat. I'm gonna do a little more intricate stuff and a little bit of humanizing. This is a technique you can apply to uh, lots of instruments, not just hi hats. All right, so I'm gonna take it to the piano roll. Right click and hit piano roll. I'm just going to brush some hi hats here on C5. Let me just shorten this down. Oh, that's a little too fast. I'm going to erase that and I'm going to stretch it out and make it go 1 and a 2. There we go. Now I'm just going to do half of this and I'm just going to add a little bit of intricate hits here. Let me just do this whole part here. There we go. And now I'm going to copy all of this and just paste it to the rest of the half to finish everything so nothing is left out. There we go. Let's use all the pops and clicks. Uh, that's just from my computer being too slow. Time for a new Mac. Alright, so now I'm going to randomize and check that out. You can see the velocities have changed. This is the window that pops out and we can control the velocities with this knob right here. And it's, it's really random. It's not based on any mathematics or whatever. You can also change it by moving these uh, buttons right here. The seeds. But we're going to keep it. 
And I'm going to show you another way to bring everything down because I think it's just too loud. Double click the note and then you just hit that and you're good. Okay, so now you have a bit of humanizing effects on your hi-hats. Now I'm going to humanize the snares a bit and we're going to layer. So let's go grab a clap and I'm going to show you the flam technique. Alright, now that I found my clap, I'm just going to drop it in here and copy the original snare and place it on the new clap. It's going to erase some of the hits here so it's not so repetitive and whatnot and not exactly the same as the original. Now, I'm going to first put it on the channel strip, which I have a few effects, reverb and compression and whatever, and uh, you'll notice a huge difference already. has a stereo effect in here there you go you can hear the difference off and on right and let's bring it into the piano roll and let's do this flam effect first I'm gonna highlight everything and I'm gonna shorten the back of the notes the end of the notes you'll see why next I'm gonna hit that wrench and there's flam and you can notice that it created a double as well as the velocities have changed now with this window you can control the time and those velocities so here's the velocity knob up and down and time you can see that it stretches it out now you don't want to go too far out or else it just sounds like a bad clapper some guy with no rhythm <laughs> there you go it sounds good you can also put it before the twos and the fours, wherever your snare is at. But I like it uh, after the flam happening after the hit. Another way to humanize is to take your snare or your clap or whatever, put your snap on none, and then manually shifting it over either early or late. In this case, we'll just go late. I'll show you the difference, though. Right? This technique also works just as well. And we'll do another one here. I'll put this one early so you can hear the difference. Doesn't sound the greatest, but it, you know, it really depends on on you and how you like it right so we'll leave it nah actually you know what we'll put it back I'm really picky with my drums alright and that's basically how to humanize your claps your drums and whatever and as well as programming right um some of the things you can do is you can mix it down you can change the the volumes of each channel and whatnot just to make sure everything's correct. So, thank you for watching the first part on how to create drums on FL Studio 10. In this next episode, I'll show you how to use the FPC.